Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? I hope you're having a great start to your summer. Um, I'm super excited about our fall season, but of course, let's enjoy some summer a little bit. But don't forget, we gotta put in some work too. All right, so I'm here with stick, set, stick work session number one, and I'm gonna show you, I hope that you guys can try whenever you have a chance to go to a fellow park and practice your stick work stuff on the turf. Um, that is the goal is to be on the turf this season as much as possible. So, um, and plus you'll just get much better ball control being on the turf. So let's aim for that. Um, but when you can't be on turf, just all you're going to need are like four or five, uh, I think some of our stuff at uh, something, we're going to need like five to six cones. These are the cones I get. You can get them on Amazon. Super, uh, you can even go to, um, play it again. Sports and Frederick, I know sells these cones. Um, Dick's probably sells these style cones. Um, you don't need a huge amount, but you probably will need like, at least I know one of the drills we do has like five cones. So other than that, you only need like a small amount of cones to get started. So the other thing you can do is, um, just like I'm about to show you right here in on carpet, okay? That's the next best thing to your turf, just as long as you have a smooth surface. I'd rather you guys gain ball control and get used to handling your stick um, versus trying to be, versus being frustrated on the grass right now. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so first one I wanna show you is yardstick pulls. So you're just putting out two cones, make them like a yard apart. Um, do not make them short. I want them a big width, okay? So you are gonna get your feet and body away from the ball. You don't wanna be crowded over the ball. You wanna bend your knees, get low. You're gonna have your um, right hand midway down the stick. So you're just going side to side. See how I go with, my body goes with, and I just rotate and I'm just going back and forth. See how I get in a groove, my knee, but the ball is out away from my body. It's not in here where I'm, you know, messing up like that. I shouldn't be standing up. I want it out and away. Okay, yardstick pulls. Okay, now we're doing V pulls. All right, so again, you don't need tons of space, probably a little more than I'm giving myself right now. Um, so just create a little bit more space, but three cones, okay? Making a V, looking at you. Um, so you are just fast, just moving the ball back and forth in a V, in a V formation, okay? Stay low, get it going. All right, forward, back, yardstick pull. You don't need to, but if you want and it makes you feel better, spread your two cones, put two cones down. You don't have to have the cones down, but if it makes you feel like it gives you something to work at, then that's great. Um, so again, you're here, they're off to the side. I'm pulling forward and back, okay? Nice, the whole length of the cones, all right? Forward and back, just like that, okay? Okay, C pull. All right, so a C pull, pretend like you have your cones there, or you can put your cones out, um, but it's just more important right now. I'm trying to show you from a different angle, so hopefully you understand. Um, so if we were dribbling, and I wanna be deceptive, I want to do a C pull. So I'm almost gonna fake. So you come up past your ball, rotate around, so I'm making a C, see that C, and then I'm pulling the opposite direction and I would go. So, you wanna fake and go, all right? So fake that, do it around, make it a big C pull, and then uh, pull the ball to your right, okay? So C pull, pull right. Okay, we're gonna try, this is tricky. So it's more just about getting comfortable and working with your stick and ball. It's called a 3D lift and hold. So you're gonna start with one direction. Um, so if I'm going left, I'm gonna lift, hold, and then I'm tapping it back, okay? Lift, try to get that hold before you do it. Hold on, <laughs> see, it's a tough one. Hold and then tap back, and there you go. If you wanna do the other side, well, do both sides, you're gonna pull up this side. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Lift, hold, tap back, okay? So you wanna try to do a little lift, Hold it for a second and then you tap it back over to your other side. 
all right? It is not going to be super easy, so just practice and work on it. I'm not stressed if you don't get it perfectly, but that's gonna help, you're gonna learn some ball control, okay? These are our speed skaters. So again, essentially you're just doing a yardstick pull, but this time a speed skater is where you lift a leg up when you're going, okay? So we're gonna go try to lift, pull, lift, pull, lift, pull. For the 25 yard speed dribble, you're just gonna have to, um, you are gonna have to probably go do that somewhere or do it across a big long room. <laughs> if you have the space, if you don't, you're gonna need to try to get outside to do this. But um, for the 25 yard speed dribble, what I want you to be doing is working on, as you're dribbling, just little to that side, then little to the other side. So you're just doing little as you move, then you're doing it on the right side, but you're working, okay, regular spin dodge. I'll show up from this side. You're going to turn towards your left hand side to do a regular spin dodge. When you do that, you are going to come down nice and low. You want to hold that ball right in the crutch of your stick there, okay? So you want to get it right in there to hold the ball, okay? Get the ball away from you. You are just spinning around and you would break out and go. All right, so again, nice and low. You do it nice and fast. Boom, you can keep it right on the stick, okay? Reverse um, spin dodge, which is the next one. You're gonna just basically go the opposite direction. So now you're gonna turn to your right, all right? And you're going with a reverse stick and you're going around, okay? So I don't know if you can see that as well. Let me see if I can do it this way. Um, Reverse stick, same thing, in the reverse of your crutch, 